Welcome back everybody. I uh, just thought I would do a little bit different video this time than what most of mine are revolving around cards, but I just been thinking about doing this video for a little while and I haven't done it yet. So we're going to go ahead and do it today. Should be pretty short and sweet, but I just thought it might be kind of fun for me to share a story about uh, my favorite athletes that I've ever met. And if you've got stories of your own that you want to share, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, I do have a new Discord channel. I'm trying to build up a community so we can chat about fun stuff like this or talk about cards, whatever it may be. But if you want to check that Discord out, there'll be a link in the description uh, to get there. I'll also pin a comment with the link to it as well. Feel free to join that. The more the merrier. Everyone is welcome. So anyways, my two favorite athletes that I've ever met... Um, just they're equally nice and very enjoyable to talk to. So I couldn't really pick one, but uh, both of them I met when I was young and one of them I met when I was a little bit older as well. And both times were great. So first off, all time great baseball player, Hall of Famer, Harmon Killebrew. When I was about, I want to say I was probably about 14 years old, 12 to 14 years old. He was at an event that my dad's work was sponsoring. We went to a Twins game, and he was in the tent where we all had dinner before the game. He was signing autographs and chatting with people. Just genuinely one of the most nice, kind people I've ever met. And even to this day, I just remember how nice he was. And even though there were hundreds of, hundreds of people that wanted to see him and talk to him and get his autograph. He made sure every single person felt special and important. And, you know, he was, he cared about them. And I just remember thinking, even as a, a young kid that, man, this athlete, he's actually a really nice guy and not a jerk. Like a lot of athletes seem to be. So it was just really fun meeting him getting his autograph and being able to chat with him for a few minutes, even though he was busy. So Harmon Killebrew, number one, uh, quite a few years later after I was dating or while I was dating my now wife, we actually went to a twins game and it happened to be the twins game where they were honoring him after he had passed away. So that was actually really cool to be able to, be there for that game. I actually might have pictures. If I have them, I'll, I'll show them up on the screen here from when we were at that game. I'll look through my phone. I might have them still, but that was a lot of fun uh, meeting Harmon Killebrew. And again, it was pretty cool to be there when they honored him. It was unplanned. Didn't realize we were going to be at the game that they were doing that. And it just happened to be the day. So that was fun to be a part of it. Second athlete, another Twins baseball player, all-time great for the Twins, Tony Oliva. Super nice. Um, again, I met him a couple years after I met Harmon Killebrew. I was probably about 15, 16 years old. Signed a baseball for me. Actually, Harmon Killebrew and Tony Oliva both signed baseballs. They're both sitting in my office at work. I was going to bring them home, but I kind of forgot to, to bring them home so I could show you guys, but still have them. Those will never be sold. Those are personal all time. Just going to keep those forever kind of things. And the first time Tony Oliva was super busy, it was a town ball. He came to the, the town ball game where I lived and he was kind of a, a ceremonial honorary uh, manager for the game for the local team. Uh, I think he was coaching first or third base uh, as one of the managers and then signing autographs for the fans. So got his autograph there on a ball. <clears throat> and then my favorite story to tell people about sports in general, but especially athletes, is when I was about 20, in my early 20s, we'll say. I was in my early 20s. I was at the Mall of America shopping for Christmas and I was going through Macy's looking for um, a perfume that my wife wanted so couldn't find it walking all around in circles and I saw him sitting on a bench 
and I did a double take. I didn't think it was him at first. And I looked again. I'm like, that's, that's gotta be Tony Oliva. So I walked up to him and I said, just basically, Hey, are you Tony Oliva? You look really familiar. I, th I think we've met before and, and you look familiar, but sorry if you're not. He's like, no, that's me. And right away I recognized that it was him as soon as he started talking and I ended up sitting on the bench next to him for about 30 minutes just chatting about whatever and just hanging out while he was waiting for his wife to do Christmas shopping through Macy's and she is also the nicest lady I've ever met as well um, when she finally came back and saw the two of us chatting she sat with us and we the three of us talked for about five minutes before they headed out and finished up their shopping but it was just really cool being able to sit down with Tony Oliva. Nobody else knew who he was. They had no idea. <laughs> Hall of Fame baseball player was sitting on that bench by himself, looking bored. <laughs> At the end of it, he thanked me for helping him kill time while he was waiting for his wife. And um, they were giving each other a hard time, you know, just cute old couple. They loved each other, obviously, but they were just kind of poking fun and joking about each other. But that will always be one of my favorite stories to tell is just being able to sit on a bench in the middle of a mall and chat with Tony Oliva for half an hour <laughs> in the middle of December, Christmas shopping madness. And nobody, nobody had any idea who he was. And it was just, you know, we were chatting like we were old friends. So anyways, <clears throat> hopefully this little video was fun for you. I did. Uh, bring one piece of memorabilia to show you guys. I got this jersey signed by Harmon Killebrew right here at that event I mentioned when I was, again, like 10 or 12 years old. And then I got Tony Oliva to sign the jersey here when he was coaching at the Town Ball event. So, uh, and I've been meaning to get this thing framed up and, and hung up on the wall for a long time. And I need to do that before it gets stained or damaged or anything somehow. But <clears throat> let me know if you guys have any cool, fun stories like that. Again, feel free to share them here in the comments or join my Discord and share them there. But uh, just thought it might be fun to do something a little bit different than cards and tell a fun story that I enjoy sharing. So... Uh, if you did enjoy your time watching this video, please thumbs up, please subscribe, and until next time, God bless.